All right, you guys, so today's video is gonna be about your cardiorespiratory fitness training. So when you're doing cardio, where should your heart rate be? So often people go to the gym and you hop on a cardio machine and you just hop on there and you just go for minutes. Um, but you don't know exactly where your heart rate, your heart rate um, should be. So there is, um, most machines at the gyms, they do have the little, the little metal parts where you grab on and it tells you how many beats per minute your heart rate is going. Um, and you should know and aim for a certain um, beats per minute so you could actually um, get the most bang for your buck. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I made an example for myself and then you guys could follow this formula and apply it for yourself. So, let me see. Hopefully this comes in. All right, so, the formula is simple. You take 220 and you minus your age, okay? So for me, 220 minus my age, I'm 25. That means that my max heart rate is 195 beats per minute is my max heart rate, okay? So if I go on a treadmill and, and I'm going, doing my cardio, and then I check my heart rate, if, it, if it's beyond 195 beats per minute, then I know that I'm very high, you know? Um, chances are that if you're higher than whatever it's estimated for you, I mean, you could pass out, whatever the case may be. So it's good to know what's your max heart rate and kind of know your boundaries, whether you should stay within that limit, okay? So that's mine, 195 max heart rate, okay? So you wanna calculate this is 65 to 75% intensity, okay? So the way I put it here is the way you would enter it on a calculator. 0.65, so you would take 0.65 times 195, and it's gonna give you 127 beats per minute. And then 0.75 times 195 is gonna give you 147 beats per minute. So if you wanna stay within 65% to 75% intensity, which is that's the minimum um, that I recommend, you know, so you could actually be getting the, the benefits of cardio, then my, my calculation would be, I would have to stay within 127 beats per minute and 147 beats per minute. So you check, you know, you're doing your cardio, you check your heart rate once in a while. If you're within that range, then that's good. You know, you could you could last you could actually last longer within that range. So um, within that range, you could still hold a, a a small conversation. You know, if somebody talks to you, um, you could still kind of hold a conversation. That's kind that's kind of how you know that you're within that range. Okay, so that's good too when you want to kind of um, burn as many calories, the most calories um, possible. So within that range, you could last up to an hour non-stop within that range. So you could burn a lot of calories. But then if you wanna kind of bump it up a notch, then you could go 76% to 85% intensity, okay? So these two ranges within this, this second range um, is beneficial when you're doing like strength training, you know? So if you're lifting weights, you know, you're doing, you know, leg, leg day, you know, you're hitting the squats, you're hitting deadlifts, you know, you're doing the machines. This, um, th th this intensity, the 76% intensity to 85% intensity is gonna be beneficial for strength training. And the same thing, you multiply 0.76 with your, with your max heart rate and then you get the how many beats per minute. So that would be my range. And then the third step, zone three, will be 86% intensity to 95% intensity, okay? So that zone, that intensity is beneficial for like power movements, you know, whether it's gonna be, you wanna get stronger maybe like in doing sprints or maybe doing something that's gonna take a lot out of you, you know, whether you're gonna, I don't know, a race, um, a, a box jump or, or, or something, you know, something powerful. Um, and that would train that type of movements. So 86% to 95% intensity, and these are my beats per minute. So a perfect example, if you wanna incorporate zone one, the 65 to 75% intensity, and then zone two, the 75 to 85, and then zone three, the 85 to 95, is start with zone one, do like 10 minutes, and then 
bump, bump up the intensity to zone two for one minute. You know, crank it up, whether you're gonna go incline or just higher speed and make sure that your heart rate goes up and check check on the, on the little metal things. And after one minute, slow down and go back down. And just recover until you feel ready to go back up for another minute. And same thing, if you wanna try intensity three, zone three, Go all the way to zone three for one minute and then just go back down and make sure that your heart rate's back down and then go all the way back up and make sure that your heart rate's all the way to 95% and then go back down and just add one minute and then go back and then little by little, you know, start with one minute and then next session you could um, include two minutes and thereafter. All right, you guys, so that pretty much wraps up the video. Hope you like it. Hope you find these tips useful. Um, if you like the video, please like the video. If you haven't subscribed, please, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.